Hey, what's going on, my friends? What's hot? What's cooking? As you can see, we're not in the Cobra any longer. I've been a little busy, I won't lie to you. I figured I might as well do some of this like tedious stuff that would bore the crap out of, I don't know, the dead. So, ha, huh, you know where I'm heading, over to Smeaton Orbital, yeah. Did some missions, um, gathered enough money, and we upgraded from the Cobra to the Type 7, or 6, I mean, the Type 6. Then, I, um, headed over to, uh, Upside on the Quarry, it's like, it's like the bad, the bad habit I can't shake. Um, I was having a hard time trying to get through this, because I'm like, man, this is going to take a long time to try to hook you guys up with a, a quick how-to video. So I figured, what the hell, let's do one mission here. It would be really nice. It'll get us paid. It'll give us enough income uh, where we can now go ahead and, once we turn these missions in, I can soup up this uh, this boat. We're going to use this one, actually. I was looking on a uh, website. I'll uh, show you. Uh, shows you. Give me a second, let me open this up. Uh, this website here. Okay, I was, let me see. Yeah, we still got time. Um, so I went to this website and I'm like, you know what? Um, I want type seven, six, I keep saying seven. Type six, and I want to do exploration. No, wait. I want to, yeah, I want to do exploration, right? So I'm like, let me, let me see real quick. Passenger wise, right? What people have, and then I remembered if you click the build oh wait not the build sorry that's where we're at the ship button it gives you a list of ships and then it gives you its range and look at this i went down the list right and we have our our big boy explorer right look 33 light years mm, that's not bad oh look another big boy uh explorer ship 33 mm, okay i see a pattern Look at the, my trusted dolphin. I had so much fun flying around a dolphin. I probably flew around a dolphin for like months. Um, that gets 31 light years. If you go down the list, oh, the hauler gets 32. Wow, that's, but look at this. We get 30. So then I'm like, you know what? That's not even modded. That's just straight up everything D rated except for your FSD. A rate that sucker. And I was like, you know what? We don't really have to change ships after this one, so doing one run, I promise. Mm. I won't waste too much time here, but check this out. One run. That's eight million. This was I, I picked it up because whatever. I wanted to put something. It's not really much money. Eight million there and another twelve million here. That means we'll end up with about twenty million after this one run. <clears throat> Um, then we can go and upgrade to a A plus FSD drive, which will get us close to that 30 light year mark. Then we can get a nicer fuel scoop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm cooking with, right? Because the whole point of these in videos are to unlock an engineer. How do you lock in it? the first engineer? That's why I started from a brand new account on day two here just to show you we're pretty close on unlocking this one currently we have 108 light years traveled for a total of 300 to unlock um, at least this step I don't think there's any other step after this I could be wrong but then we can with the extra money right we can set up for exploration and go get our um, we need to get our scout we need to get to at least scout or higher to unlock uh, far, far seer, which then, once we get to that point, we need to start collecting materials so we can upgrade. Um, I do not believe, I mean, I've probably got something. Wow. Okay, I got some data stuff, um, which is whatever. We're going to have such fun searching out for data. I mean, for materials to upgrade. Um, the FSD drive on this thing. But the request was, hey man, 
<clears throat> new to the game a couple days ago. Someone messaged us. That's why we're doing these. And they were like, hey, dude, how, um, how do I unlock... How do I unlock a engineer? So, here we go. We're done. Showing you guys how I do it. The incredible time sucker <laughs> that is unlocking an engineer. Um, but the money making was kind of sluggish and slow, and it was really hindering how fast. I didn't want to spend a whole week on this. Um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to just go out there and spend the whole week at it. I figured if I just go in and knock out some income, once we get enough cash, we suit this bad boy up for exploration. We need spend a million and a half on a um, on our scanner and then we have to get a planetary scanner in there uh, we want that FSD A class we're in a B class right now and what was the other thing we needed um, oh a better fuel scoop I think I got a 3 B we might want to guess a 4 A a little bit of cargo and maybe a shaft or two in case we get interdicted while we're out oh you know what I take all that back. That's all nonsense. What we really need is an AFS. What's it called? It's an automated. Uh, I forgot what it's what its abbreviation stands for. But basically, that'll fix your modules uh, out in space if you get into some trouble. Which, when I went exploring uh, some long time ago, some long time ago, I went exploring and I almost lost my ship and all the. And all the uh, the time I put into that tr uh, that excursion, because um, my FSD drive was starting to fail, I took so much damage from using the neutrino highway. I was jumping neutrino starts and neutrinos, which is pretty cool. Um, it it what a, a neutrino. Okay, so if you have a 50 light year range, the neutrino star will bump it up to 150. So once you get that charge in your system in your FSD. You actually do a, over 150, well, at least that's what I was getting, over 100, like, it was like 160, 170 um, light years per jump. <clears throat> For one jump, uh, let me clarify. So, yeah, it's just one jump that you can sneak into there. But that's pretty awesome. I thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Get us there. Come on. You can do it. It's so whenever you start crossing big planetary bodies, you uh, slow down. Substantial. I like to come out on the outside as far away from the planet as I can oh god I, can you imagine if that was you failed the mission <laughs> that 20 million dollar one I might have taken a little too long to leave the station I was eating crap <laughs> okay they're still there oh no we got plenty of time oh no am I gonna do a u-turn of shame Seems like it. Yeah, I failed. Oh no! Awesome. It's like I failed, you guys. I have to commit a U-turn of shame. But we got lucky. We got good. We're good. All good in the hood. Roger that. Command. Requesting docking permission. Thank you, sir. All right. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I started like about, what, 8 this morning, 8.30, maybe 8.40-ish, um, with the, uh, the Cobra trying to, like, make money, and I tried some different things, and it just wasn't working out, so I was like, you know what, let's cut to the chase. If you guys haven't seen the video, I should link it to this one, uh, I'll link it to this one, how to do these missions um, so you can also make 20 million off of one run you just have to get to the point where you can get here with your uh, current ship whatever it is once you do those missions and you get to uh, we're gonna shoot it we're gonna shoot it overshot it oh man Ha <laughs> ha. 
We know that doesn't make that noise. It just sounds funny. Alright, so land her down right over yonder. We landed that there over yonder, kind of rough and tough. Epic. Alright guys, check this out. All that time we spent struggling. Oh, I can't make any money! I think that in the beginning, uh, when you start playing this game, it's a little cool. But then when you realize how much time you're losing, it turns into like a pain in the butt. And then you're like, you know what, I'm just going to go make some loot. Look at that. Look how much money we just made. Ham, cheesy wheezy. Alright, cool. Now, now, good so we can get to the point of this all. There were nothing good coming out of here. Yep, nothing worth <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Nothing worth the doing there. Let's see if, um, oops. <clears throat> wow, a lot of buttons were pressed there. Let's see if we have the capabilities to upgrade anything. Yeah, okay, no, not, not that. How about this? Nope, not that. Not, yeah, I didn't figure. I didn't figure. We would do that there. Um, just for giggles, because I know they don't have it. A heat sink comes in handy in case you, when you're fueling, when you're fueling up. That comes in handy. I hate how much this kills um, our jump, but <sighs> nah, nah, we don't need it. Alright, let's see if we can do something with this. I'm actually considering keeping it. Um, fuel tank, fuel scoop 3. I'm actually considering just keeping the 3 and not upgrading to a 4. That was weird noise. Um, so let's start messing with our... Oh wait, we have stuff in. I gotta get rid of this. Junk in our cargo hold. Alright, so let's see if we can just go ahead and. While we're here, right? Because we we want an exploration ship now. We did all this hard work to get to this point for an exploration ship. Stella, cartography. Okay, yeah, this is the bad boy we needed. This is why I came here, because I'm like, you know what? We need we need to put some like good stuff on here. Hey, what's going on there? Oh wait, oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy your name. Uh, um I want to say Arthur Weave. <laughs> um, just joined. Could you go over your um, over your opinion? Option. Oops, sorry. Imp uh, optional internal for frame. Oh, dude, that's so easy. It's super super easy. Anything E class. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you, my friend. Nice to nice to meet you, by the way. Um, you're gonna run passenger missions if you're running them out of. <clears throat> Uh, uh, Upsilon Quarry, where there's a an easy way to make tons of money here. You come over here, and basically what you want to do out of this location is just equip the best 5E, e, I'm sorry, any E-Class economy passenger. The E's will allow you to have the maximum capacity. The D-rated will be the lightest, but it will carry less people. Um, A-Class and C-Class, you know how... A is the best you can buy, C would be the most efficient, no, B is the most efficient, C is the most energy efficient, I don't know how it goes, I forgot. All I know is that D is your lightest, and E will get you your maximum number of passengers. Um, that's why if you look, everything I have here is a 4E, a 5E, a 3E, um, I would have done a 3E if, if needed. So anyways, you come and get that because then you can group uh, the maximum amount of people, right? And what you're trying to achieve, um, hold on a second, ah, sorry, sir, I'm a little distracted. What you're trying to achieve is, ah, okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, what you're trying to achieve is being able to pick up the maximum non-named 
missions. You don't want to pick up the one that says, take Tommy over to, you know, whatever planet. Because those usually means you're going to get interdicted. And that person, sometimes, you got to read the details of the mission. They could end up being a criminal. And what happens is the second you come into uh, range, they'll, uh, they'll whack you. Ooh, that sounded cool. All right, so what we're doing right now is just setting up the... Uh, we're just setting up the uh, uh, the Type 6 for exploration. Um, we need to go hunt down a FSD, uh, a frame shift, sorry, frame shift drive, FSD. Uh, um, pop, 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 FSD. F okay, so we got the fuel scoop. So I'm already looking for in this. Oh, guys, if you're new, you got to bookmark this website. Nice to meet you, too. Um... I'm repelling up in a vicinity of Epsilon A at the moment. Was curious about your setup as I have a Type 6 sitting dormant uh, that I could pick. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, we'll watch back later on too and uh, see what's uh, what I've been doing so far. Cool, man. Um, I'm doing this one more for exploration. I'm going to drop a link in the description later on um, th that'll link you over to the video I made on how to make money here. And then that one you can you can you um, you can go with that one. That might help you a little bit better too, since we're not really going to be doing any more of these passenger missions here. Um, we're actually trying to unlock our engineers. So what we need is a f. Uh, we need to get ourselves a nice drive. Uh, ah, frame shift drive. Wow, sticky mouth today. So um, bookmark. If you guys don't have this website, you really should bookmark it. It helps you find everything in the game. Um, you can find stations, mission. I'm sorry, stations, rare commodities, everything. Um, new factions and bodies and trading. It helps you with trading. This is a great website. Every person that plays this game should have it on their uh, on their favorite bar. <clears throat> All right. So what are we doing? We're going to go and pick up that drive. Okay. First, but fir but first. I'm on the fence. I don't know if I want to keep this or maybe upgrade to a four. Well, we can only get a three here. Okay, that, that that's an easy, um, that's easy. For exploration, I do not use, um, I do not use shields, okay? I don't do it. Uh -huh. um, I don't find the need for it. But more importantly, and we don't have it here, don't have it here. Nope. 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 No. Okay. So they don't have it here, but we will be picking one up. And um, it's what are we picking up? I you ask. It's going to be a what am I talking about? An AFS. You'll see in a second. Um, we really need to pick one of those up. It's very important. But first, <coughs> let me clear my throat. <laughs> Let's head back to over here to Allen Hub in Epsilon Quarry. Uh, why do I want to head back there? Because I want to take off these uh, passenger bays. They are heavy. And we don't want to go cruising around the universe with those. We just want to drop them off, get rid of those, and then head to... and then head on our way. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys, for exploration, a cool trick. Um, not trick, I take it back. My apologies. It's not really a trick. I'm not showing you something um, that hasn't been done before. But what we're trying to do is open up uh, Farce here. She requires a uh, scout or higher. What's up, demon? Man, long time no see. How you been, my friend? So what we're, we're going to do is head back over to um, Allen Hub in Epsilon and drop off these passenger bays. Uh, why? Because if I ever need them again, it'll be from this location. I really don't have interest in doing uh, passenger missions in, in any other scenario. At least in this, at this point in this game. Um, if I did do something crazy, which I've been thinking about doing a 20,000 light year track. Uh, grinding away and finally got my damn nice man awesome congratulations on that I've uh, I've been slacking a little bit on 
on getting my Corvette. Um, I get distracted easily. Someone's like, hey, help me out with the video. And I was like, yay! I had no idea. I, fr I You know, it's really hard to, like, come up with what content. I don't know how these guys do it. Um, that's been at this for years. Like the, uh, the Commander Plater and and uh, David from uh, Down to Earth Astronomy and, and Yamix. I don't know how those guys come up with so much stuff to do the comments. Man, those rank uh, four hard points are nice. Yo, those that ship, and you saw how awesome the ones right behind your cockpit are? Those two blasters, those two uh, points are awesome, man. 400 million on donations? Yeah. Yeah. People tell me they, they get frustrated with the last, um, the last, uh, rank, I guess. It, it could get, uh, it could get painful. <laughs> Throwing some money at it isn't a bad thing. Yeah. Those are the rank for, yeah, that's tough stuff. I haven't, you know, I haven't thrown money at it. I've been, I've been, I've been cheap. Uh huh. I'm actually saving my, my, um, I don't want to waste my money because, um, I think to fully fit the Corvette's going to be a billion. And I'm at 1.4 billion at the moment. So I, yeah, I got to get back over here and keep doing some passenger missions so I can, uh, I want to get to at least 3 billion by the time I, I go and buy it. And that takes up a lot of time. A couple days. Hey, Commander Doc, how you doing? Only for the Corvette. You still need the. You still need it for the Corvette, but now you can get the other Federal ships. It's been unlocked because of a community go, which kind of like not cool. <laughs> I had just unlocked them and they became free. I was like, what the, what the monkey? Yep, that's that's how I do it. That's what we're doing here. I got actually, you know what I did? I I, I had no use. I went and bought a uh, a cutter, and I don't have use for it um, until I start doing like haul, hauling missions because of the size of the, the cargo hold on that thing. Wow, it's got one heck of a cargo hold. Um, I didn't really care for the ship, to be honest. Outside of its looks, it's a beautiful looking ship. But I don't know, performance wise, it wasn't my thing. I still uh, love my Anaconda. So much that I bought two of them. <laughs> I got one, I got the War Anaconda. I call it the War Anaconda, because I do war with it. <laughs> and I got the, um, I got my other Anaconda that I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it down, um, down by uh, Maya also. So that I can do, um, I've been wanting to do some of those Thargoid, uh, request missions that when you dock in Maya, you no, know, they're like, oh, go pick up some Thargoid, you know, biomatter or something. Um, so yeah, I've been figuring out what to do with it. Or, you know, it'd be cool for the Anaconda, turning it into a exploration ship. The best jump range so far in the game is the Anaconda. The Anaconda. Modded, of course. If you mod her up. Uh, you mod it up really good, you can actually get the best jump range. I think 60-something people are getting out of it. So that, those are two things to do with her, uh, with the Anaconda at the moment. And then, of course, the mighty Corvette for anything combat. So what's up, Doc? How you been, man? You had yourself a good, uh, good Christmas, good New Year's? You guys uh, doing well? You guys get all the toys you wanted? <laughs> Alright, cool. Now... Alright, so... So, for the gentleman that asked earlier... Uh, Author Weave? I'm gonna destroy your name, sorry my friend. So, here's what I got. For my, for the setup. Nothing here. Nothing here, okay? Core internals, everything derated. I haven't been able to buy this yet, but everything derated, except for your FDS, of course. Keep it at A. That'll give you the best jump. For here, it really doesn't matter. You can be all A's. 
um, because it's such a small jump from here to LL, what is it, LTT 9360? So it doesn't really matter, but this is all that matters. If you got a a Type 6, um, just go with a 5, a 5, two 5 E's, two 4 E's, a 3 E, and then two cargo holds. Because uh, if you don't have at least four tons of cargo space, you won't be able to get missions from here. Okay, so just remember to do that. Use these two crappy ones for cargo, and then everything else, a 3 E economy class, 2 4 E economy class, and 2 5 E economy class, and that's it. That's all you need. That's all she wrote. Oh, wait, I was gonna... <laughs> Alright, so, that's pretty much it. That's all you need, to be honest. Alright, so we're gonna store this stuff, because... When we need it, it'll be here. And this is where we'll use it. Hey, um, okay, let me catch up here a little bit. So the amount of passengers on my Corvette now is like 200? Really? So it's a jump up. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Man. That, um, really? Two, you can put 200 passengers in a Cobra? In a Corvette? Uh, bu -bu 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 and getting it to, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, my next mission will be to getting my buddy out of his Sidewinder. He just bought the game. Awesome, congratulations. I've been trying to get my buddies to play. I even bought my buddies a version of the game, and they still don't want to play. You can get 200 passengers in an Anaconda. Yes, that's correct. Pas uh, Pasadin? Pasadina? That's right. Pasadena is correct there. You could get 200. Um, you can get 208 or, or a little bit higher off of the uh, cutter, approximately. Yeah, round it up. Yeah, I got. Yeah, you can definitely do the 200 out of the Anna. The Anna Conda is such a great ship, all around her. All around, good stuff there. Oops. So, since we um, are doing a how to unlock, okay. Let's get rid of this so we can get... Look at our jump range. is at 23 light years right now by getting rid of that stuff. Man, I really am curious. Now that we got money... Yeah, we're going to have to go somewhere else to do it. They don't have the fuel scoop. Oh, but they have this. Okay, this is what I was trying to tell you guys. It's so important. Um, this thing for exploration, for me, this is so important. It's so expensive. Holy mackerels. Why is this so expensive? Back. Um, oh, the repair capacity. That's what it is. Okay. And what a draw. It draws a lot of power. But it doesn't affect your jump range. This is awesome. So, 5,900... 4,000... Wait, what? Repair capacity. This is uh, 5, 4... Five, nine. Why does this repair power draw repair rating? This is a better repair rating. But this one repairs more and it's cheaper. So let's go cheap. I don't think you need one this heavy duty though, to be honest. Might get away with one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Cause we don't want I don't want to drop a million on that. Okay, so it's pretty much the... Yeah, let's do this one. Because if we run into some neutrinos, we're going to use them. Uh, it's really needed. I remember heading out into the middle without one. And, yep. Yeah, that's that was my... That was the problem I ran into. Okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. Cell D Weller. D Weller? C D C L. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I am bad with names. Um, so right now, sir, I am, um, is the banner, just like the banner, uh, yeah, right now we're in Epsilon Quarry. Uh, I came here, did some missions, came over here so that I can, um, so that I can be ready for, um, for this exploration trip we're going to do real quick here. But first, we need to get ourselves... 
we need to get ourselves a couple things. So again, we go back to our trusted website and we place what we need. We need a FS, I want this drive. And then you know what I want to do, guys? Let's check out what a 5A fuel scoop. A 5A fuel scoop. Let's see what that, um, where we would find that. So we go ahead and we're going to be heading to this system because, oh, quick, quick uh, advice. I still get uh, PTZ when I, with my FSC when it functions. Man, I, I had such, I was so far away. I did that 5,000 light year track to unlock um, Engineer Palin. And on the way back, <clears throat> I had done some neutrino star jumping. And you know that damages, if you don't do it correctly, it damages your uh, your frame shift drive. So man, on the way back, I had I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna end up having to kill myself so I can re, you know start at the station. I already got the distance, so I already had unlocked the uh, the engineer. But oh, man, what a bad trip. So I luckily I made it all the way back barely. I had to like reboot my my ship every other jump. Uh -huh. I literally had to reboot systems every other jump so that I can get it to work. But when I got back, I turned in the 15 million, and man, I got me, um, I, I mean, I turned in all the mission, the, the data from the, the track, and I got fi uh, 15 million out of it, which was really, really good. Hey, Max, I'm sitting in a Type 6 at the moment. Um, I started from scratch, beginning, I have another account, which is my main account, and I have a lot of stuff in there. So I have a secondary account which I use this one to do fresh new videos like this one, like a brand new account off the bat. How do I unlock a, uh, an engineer? So that's kind of like what we're at right now. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so the cell Weller says, ah, oh, okay. I did that a while ago, by the way, in the Anaconda, I had about 186 or 184 passengers because you need the cargo space for, yes, he's a hundred percent correct. I think that's the correct number. 186. Um, because you, you got to have at least four, uh, four tons of space. Okay, so check this out, guys. When you use this website, if you want to try to save money, especially when you buy spaceships, the bigger the spaceship, the, the, the more you save, always go to where it says power and put uh, this Lee Young Rui, Rui guy, put him in here. You'll get an instant 15% discount on anything you buy. Okay? Uh, I try to... No, I don't think so. Um, may maybe, but I don't think so. I just think you have to know your ship. And the thing that makes the whole neutrino thing hard, I think, is that the the orbital lines, if you use orbital lines, I use them because when I, I warp into a system, I'll see the the green line around the, the star, so I know not to get that close to it. If I get too close, boom, it'll pop me out of... Uh, It'll pop me out of uh, super drive. Okay, so real quick, um, I want to see if they have this bad boy. Um, we're going here. Copy, 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 copy. It's only it should be like two or three jumps away. It's not gonna be so bad, too bad. But we're almost ready to go uh, exploring, actually. Uh, oh wait, let's just do a quick cargo. By the way, guys, if you put cargo hold in your ship, it does not affect your jump range until you put something in it. Um, okay, so don't be scared to have something kind of, some kind of cargo. Alrighty, um, we need to go here first. Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's launch and then go real quickly and plot our our next area we're going is here. And what are we looking for? We're going to this station hub. Nope, that's not it. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. It is a uh, 14 minute super cruise, but I make. Oh, so I'm sorry, I got distracted there. <laughs> um, 
Oh wow, there's a lot of conversation going on there. Let me get out of this station, guys. I'll catch up with your convo. Alright, three jumps. We got three jumps there. Okay, uh, I missed a lot of this conversation. Sorry. Uh, the more passengers you can haul that way for my grinding economy class passenger missions, pick up bulk economy missions from Wolfson and. Hey, Max. Okay, so what. What's the distance from the star to where you turn in those ma passenger missions? Hmm, I usually bounty hunt in. 562. I do passenger missions out of Alpha Quarry. Alpha Quarry, really? Um, it's a 14 like, uh, cruise, but I made 80 million per run. That's not bad. Four, it's a point fourteen light year super cruise? You mean 1.8 million? Or, I'm sorry, 1.4 million? Okay, so the reason Epsilon Aquari, I can make 200 million per run, is because it's literally... Oops. I hate when I do that. Catching all this heat for nothing. Hold on. That, we can fix our systems, which is great. Um, the reason I do it out of Absalon Aquari is because when you when you pick up all the passenger missions going to LTT 9360, when you hop into that system from the star to your station is 1.8 million light seconds away from the star. So what's 0.14 light years? What would that, how would you... Uh, what? Okay, so yeah, it's about one to two, one to two million a passenger. I'm just trying to see what the numbers are because I'd love to find a different place that pays out more than this one because this is like about a 30 minute, 40 minute flight from the star to the station. And that's why it pays so well. I mean, I, a mission, some missions pay 30 million, uh, well, under 30 million. Um, from Absalon Aquari. That's one mission. 20, 23 passengers. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Gotcha. So I'd like to, I'd like to, um, actually, let me write that down. I, I have to check that one out. That seems interesting. Um, that seems interesting. It's a, a one hour and twenty minute super cruise. I usually go an hour and twenty. Whoa, that's a lot. That's more than. Um, that takes a lot. Wow, just the super cruise alone. Yeah, it takes Upsilon takes about forty minutes, and you can make right above between one per run easy if it's in boom state. It's about 100 and 140, 150 million to 200 million per run over at Absalon. And it's a 40 minute flight. 13, yeah, between 30 and 40 minutes, give or take. I think it takes, lo it takes longer to, um, to do the board hopping to get, the, uh, to get all the missions. It takes longer to do that than to actually... Um, than to actually uh oh, here we go. We're gonna be interdicted in a second. Yeah, would any sh yes, but well, you're okay. So the more you can passengers you can carry, the more you'll make, right? Obviously, but I've done it with a python, and the only limitation. Oops, you turn to shame. The only limitation you have is uh, with the ship. I mean, I just did it with this ship. That one run was twenty million. With, with a freaking Type 6, which is really good. Uh, when would you make 20 million off of one run on a Type 6? There's nowhere you can do that. 
Um, I think so. I don't think the FSD speed changes with ships. Um, could someone type the system and dock or... Yeah, sure. No worries. Let me dock, uh, Max, give me a second. I'll dock. And I'll link you, um, I'll get you the info. There you go. Demon to the rescue! And there we go. I knew the inner thing. And I knew that was coming. We're just way too close for these guys to leave us alone. Oh man, that was the easiest interdiction attempt I've ever foiled. Let's see, are we gonna get interdicted back to back? I hate when that happens. It's like back to back to back to back to back. Interdiction evaded. So that's the um so Max, that's the the starting location. And by the way, when you get there, you wanna work um that's where you pick up the missions. You go to Epsilon Quarry. The, the 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 station is called Allen Hub, okay. But you want to go there in a medium ship or smaller, okay, and work on getting allied with all of the passenger mission agents, okay. Once you're allied with them, you, it's when you see the really really good payout. You'll see the big payout, okay. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go take it to, from there, you're going to go to, I think it was LLT 9360. And the station name, if I remember right, oh god, don't, um, is it S. Meaton? Orbital. Or Bito. I think that's it right there. Yeah, Python's a medium ship. So you can you can grind your reputation in the Python. Once you do that, you'll see such a payout, man. You'll be like, woof. Easy money. Well, I mean, not easy money, guys. You're turning you're you're giving up a lot of time. Right? You're giving up your time to do those missions, but yo, that's where the money's at. I will um I'll link to the I'll link on this uh video, I'll link the video I made on how to make money there. I basically started with a Sidewinder, okay? I got the Sidewinder beefed up so that I can make the jumps. Once I started making the jumps, I ended up... Oh, I ended up getting a Type 6. I got there with the Type 6. I did, I think I did like three runs with the Type 6, and I bought a Python, okay? I did all that in 16 hours um, from zero, from nothing, just getting into the game fresh. I got, I did all that stuff in 16 hours. I was in a Python and I had 20 million left over for upgrades. So it's kind of like, like I love this game and I'm like, man, a lot of people end up getting discouraged because they get into the game and it's such a grind to upgrade to ships. And I'm like, no, don't leave the game for that reason. Grind a little bit of those and, and get up there. What's the best way to build up reputation? It took me forever. Um, Max, there, there's there's not really much you can do. It's do the data transfer missions. You'll see the data transfer missions is the best thing to do. Um, you don't want to do anything to move around cargo. That stuff takes too long. You just want to get the, the data missions. Or if you got the money to throw away, you can also you know do donations. I didn't do any donations when I got there. I just did those data missions. It takes a minute. But you can do, like, set time, you know, say, I'm going to do an hour of data mission and then run a couple passenger missions, you know. You'll put some money in your bank, it'll give you the cash to do some things, upgrades. Um, but, yeah, I, I recommend just go in there and get your, go in there and get your, um, your, your, your rep to ally. Then you'll see the big payout. Here, let me, if you guys will give me a sec. I'll look for that video for you. Yeah, man. We gotta do these things. Like, like I know there's elitists in the game that get really upset when people don't, you know, when people have to, where, where, when they get into a nice ship really fast in the game. And screw that. I want people to stay playing the game, right? My thing is to just have people play the game. Why would you want to make it hard on them? 
Um, let's see. Pop, pop, pop. That's not the video. Bear with me, guys. I'm just scrolling through. Man, I got a lot of videos on here. I didn't know I had, I'm, <laughs> I didn't know I had that many. Wow. I got a lot of time on my hand. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, life as a commander in the search of money. How do I link this? <laughs> Click here. Ah, uh, here we go. Finally. Okay, I was looking for the URL. I don't know if I can post it in the chat. Okay, I think I did. There you go. That video will show you like how I how I did it, how I got here. That'll link you to um Actually, that might not be the right one. That's the one I used to to make money from the get go. Let's see. You know what? I have to do this afterwards. I gotta search. I don't remember where it is. The search of money. Uh, okay, here we go. I think. It, okay, this one. Lead dangerous. Uh, the search for more money in Epsilon or Quarry. Part one and part two. Yeah, unfortunately, there was two parts. Uh huh. There's a lot of parts there. All right. Here. This is the how I did it. Um, with my main account, and then I'll I'll toss a link to that in our in this video here. Um, hey, Dead Scale, how's it going, my man? It's Dead Scale, everybody. How to make tons of money? Here, I'll put a link in the description to how to make a ton of money. All right, that should be good there. All right, cool. Move on now. Um, uh, hey, now I'm on the engineer grind. Laugh out loud. So, is a new series to quit topic. Just uh, wait for upgrade the FSD. Yeah. <laughs> wait until you guys have to start searching. It's one thing to unlock the. Um, <laughs> it's one thing, guys, to unlock. To unlock, the uh, the agent, right? Once. Nice, almost 30. Look at that. We're almost at 30 light year jumps now. Let me see if we can drop this guy to a D. Deluxe apartment in the sky. We moving on up. Oh, man. Really? They're going to make me jump out of here to find that. Oh, whatever. So, for exploration ships, uh, you want to get D rated everything. D is, D is for the lightest you can get. A is the most, the best you can get. So your FSD drive, of course, you want to go with an A. It'll give you the best jumps. Everything else D, because we're trying to reduce our weight, so we can keep this number up high. This is the minimum. If you follow, see my cursor, the minimum you will. If you, if I go ahead and fill up this thing with uh, my cargo hold to the max, this is the, what I'll get. This is where I'm at right now, and this is the best that I can be. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, uh, mine's getting about around 62 light years of jump and 21 on my... Yeah, the 62. That's, the Anaconda has the best jump range in the game. Uh, modded. If you fully modded it. I wish I had a 60 jump range. Takes me like 50 jumps to go. Well, that's the... Uh, that's kind of like... That's kind of like why I picked... Uh, the agent, uh, the the engineer I picked to unlock. You, you kind of like the first thing in the game you want to work towards is getting a nice uh, jump range, right? And then you can work on getting your your shields and your haul strong stronger and all that good stuff. But so life support also D. This will give me about five. Okay, seven minutes and thirty seconds. Okay, if you can't get to a station in that time. Whatever it is, what it is, um, it'll and then sensors also sensors. I go with uh, D um, because I don't want to lose uh, jump range. Sensors are heavy, super heavy. What are we? Not really that heavy. <laughs> I took it back. I've really haven't every video I've ever seen 
every person I've ever heard, they don't they don't do nothing with this. Uh, emission range. It, they just don't. They just don't. Do, nobody does anything with that. I don't know why. Um, I do like to use uh, shaft, but I don't want to put a drain on our our jumps. We we. I don't want to. No. What is a kind of important because we'll be using um, is this. It's kind of important, but again, I'm not gonna lose one whole light year. Uh, jump on that. Um, so I like to explore with uh, just bare necessities. All right, back to what I'm, um. I want to see, guys. Let's see real quick. Uh, I want to. I want to get a better fuel scoop. Oh, baby. Well worth the money. Um, I think. Do I want a four? Do I want a five? I mean, maybe a four would be better. Maybe a four. Um, we're looking at it's a, it'll be a big improvement from what we have. Uh, since we're going to be out far, maybe maybe a five would be the right way to go. Since I'm planning to do um, some serious exploration, doesn't really do much to kill our jump range either. Nice. Um, I don't use fuel tanks as much. I don't use fuel tank as much. Um, man, uh, let's see. Let me catch up here. So, um, on the Elias thing, I did my uh, did get my first anaconda quite fast with slave smuggling. <laughs> From new people back in the days, as unexperienced as I was back th then, I had no fun with my anaconda because I didn't really know how to fit it the best way. Just popped a few th times, then got yeah. I've that's part of the fun though. Once you once you get to that point, it's kind of fun. I. I I found it fun to jump in an anaconda and then realize how hard it was to get it through the mail slot. <laughs> oh man, it's such a long ship. I would turn. I would like roll. T I would uh wait, roll. I would roll, um, <laughs> and get stuck in the mail slot a lot. Had more fun with it and got myself some skills. After some time, I bought an anaconda again. And uh, earned the knowledge, and, and now I'm happily flying a Corvette. Never ever uh, pop since. I yeah, that's nice. Uh, dread scale. Uh, yeah, I get that. I felt a bit lost when it comes to outfitting my anaconda, but and then again, I don't play it as much. Good times. Okay, and then, uh, so I don't think players should get big-ass ships right off the bat. Uh, don't deserve... See, I don't I don't agree with that. I think if you want to get in a big ship right off the bat, go for it. Learn in that. There's no difference in learning in a Sidewinder than there is learning in an Anaconda. Just other than the ship itself is bigger. Um, it's just as complicated to figure out how am I going to fit this sidewinder? Um, you just don't know. You don't know what you know until you learn it, right? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I really wasn't like, like for me, the game opened up once I got into, uh, the Python. That's when the game felt like it really opened up for me. The, um, once I got into my Python and then from the Python to the Anaconda, um, man, once I got in, once I was flying around the Anaconda, I felt like I was, <laughs> like I was rich. I was like, yeah, everybody check me out. I'm cool. But I can see what you mean, though. I, I follow you. It depends, I guess it depends the play style of the person. Some people might be able to handle that better than others. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't let nobody give you crap for using a docking computer. I did so many, um passenger missions that I was like, you know what? <laughs> I put a pa I put a docking computer on my anaconda. Um cuz I didn't want to deal with the, the I didn't want to deal with the mail slot anymore. 
personally. But eventually, I got, I got, you know, I, I would use it and get better and better and better until I was pretty good with it. All right, what are we doing here? Um, we don't need shields. Do we need shields? Not really. Do I? Oops. Should I put a shield on here? Just for giggles. Shield generator. The only reason I would put a shield generator. Maybe a bi weave, but no. Wow, look at that power situation. Yeah, it's not worth it for us. Um, it's so not worth it. We don't need a shield for what we're doing. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I think we're ready. Me? Eh? I think we're ready, boss. Do I want a tank, a fuel tank? I'm th considering a fuel tank. A fuel tank affects my fully loaded. But then once we fill this up, um, I don't need a fuel scoop. It just means we got to scoop more. And we got to be careful. You don't want to jump too much. Okay, yeah, we're good, guys. This is all we need right here. This is all we need for exploration. Some cargo space, fuel scoop. If you want to get, if you want to and you feel more comfortable, throw in a, uh, a fuel tank. Uh, fuel tanks will let you go further without scooping. But then when you do decide to scoop, you're gonna scoop a lot more. So for me personally, I just like to, I'll just scoop as I go. Scooby doo, scooby dooby doo. Then you want to make sure you get yourself a nice detailed surface scanner because we're gonna scan some planets, and you want to get yourself a nice advanced discovery scanner, the most expensive ones, 1.5 mil. You want that? Um, you want it? You need it? You know you like it. I was almost thinking we should pop a. Um, we should throw in a planet vehicle hangar in this thing, but how bad does that affect us? Not so bad, not so bad at all. And you never know, we might find, um, we might get to a planet and decide, man, that planet looks nice. Let's go down there and um, and do some investigation. Actually, you know what we should have done? Oh, I should have done that first. I think a four can get me a duel. Yes, look at that duel. But how much? Oh my God, it really affects our jumps. <sighs> no, I don't want to do that. Wait, are we over? No, we're in. We're looking at our power. It's just right there. Anything else we throw on this, it's gonna, it's gonna put us heavy. So let's throw in a cargo scoop, just because it's not. It doesn't. Shouldn't really affect us. Only if we get full. If we fill her up, just because I don't like any empty spaces, so I'll be honest. There was no need for it. But we can carry about 48 tons worth of stuff in this. Okay, we got a nice little SRV in place. And I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go exploring. Um, so let's set up our fire groups real quick. We don't really have <laughs> too much craziness there, right? Actually, let's do that one and two. That was easy, f easy setting up of the fire group there. Um, well, guys, you really are chatting up a storm there. I um, let's see, demon. Um, I'm getting my type ten spoiler stuck. Yo, I hate the type ten. What a waste of metal. By the way, um, you said the anaconda jumps farthest. Uh, how far can you get an anaconda. I thought the Diamondback Explorer was. My buddy got his Diamondback at. I've never seen a Diamondback Explorer or a, or an Asp um, that high up. It it could be. I saw. Um, I've literally seen people getting anacondas at 61, 61 or ish. Depends. You got to get like perfect rows when you do the engineering on them. Um, so that's the best I've seen anybody get on any ship is uh, an anaconda at 61-ish or something like that. So your buddy getting a Diamondback Explorer at 64 is really good. Really, really good. <laughs> Yo, you know what I don't like about the Type 10? What purpose does it serve? It's It feels like, like, like another uh, Viper 3, Viper 4. Man, the Viper 4 is a piece of junk. Compared to the Viper 3. And, you know, go watch some Yamix videos. Go, go look up Yamix and check out his reviews on the Viper. 
and he'll tell you <laughs> he'll tell you all the things. Any ship that that they kind of like tried, it's pure combat. But you know you can't run all lasers on it. You 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 can't really you don't have the distribution. The distribu distribution is tiny on it. It's got a decent haul, but you, you get more haul out of an anaconda than you can out of that. According to Yamix's video, um, again, this is I'm going off of Yamix. I, he does his research. The guy's smart. He knows his stuff when it comes to ships. So when he does one of his rants, I love it. Yeah, the chain gun. But your your sw um, your power distribution has a hard hard time. They put the uh, Type 10 in the... Eh. I'm not... I'm just not excited with the Type 10. It's it's like whatever, to be honest. Um. Hey, we got some junk to turn in. And can I pay the fine? I have a fine. Uh, I guess I can't pay it. Alright. We're ready to go. Now we need to pick a destination. So let's see how. Yeah, I guess I just don't. I didn't give it the. Uh, I don't know. I didn't give it the. Uh, I didn't give the Type Ten any any like love yet. I guess. All right, Demon. Hey, man. Thanks for stopping by. It was cool hanging out and chatting with you, brother. All right, so what are we looking for? I am looking for where is it? I'm looking for my roads to riches. Here we go. Okay, guys, here's another website you want for exploration. So we're trying to get scout. We want to get scout on our exploration, and we also want to you two, demon, fly safe, and we also want to make some money, right? So I love this little program. It's awesome. This little thing here is so awesome. Uh, first, what are this website that somebody made? Some people made the things. First, where are we? <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, Alice. Okay, so we are in uh, HS 1228. Alright, so check this out. This website, it's edtools.d dns.net right road's called it's called road to riches you pop plop in where you're at okay uh, results in plain text if you want to copy it copy and paste it that's a good thing to do there include populated systems that are unexplored yeah good. Well, I, I don't know I don't know if that matters maximum distance from the start okay 200 light years. Um, let's go 300 light years. Max systems in a route. How many systems do you want to pop in? I had set that to like the maximum, but let's just leave it like that. And then you go ahead and get route. And there we go. So here's what we're going to do it tells you straight up. Wait, this is a little confusing for me now. Um, the route has 300 systems with 621 planets. Populated systems are marked with a... Uh, okay. So, jump, system, planet. 4, 14. Maybe let's do this. Let's, uh, in plain text, let's do it this way. Okay, that's a lot better to read. Here we go. A lot easier to read, right? So, here's our first hop. Copy. We're going to do some exploration. All right, we copy that. Jump into our here. Post it. Look for it. Remember, we are in populated space, too, which is. All right, sir. And we're going to jump out of there. And let's launch. Wow, that one jump is going to suck up a lot of fuel. Maybe I should have put a tank, a fuel tank on this thing. 
kind of a jump range. Oh, okay, no wonder. We're doing 45 light years in one hop? Oh, I didn't think so. Uh. Alright, two jumps. What's up, Comet? It's Comet, everybody! Hide your stuff! Um, dead skill. If you don't uh, use plain text, it lets you mark them as visited. Nice little feature. Yeah, man, this this is such a cool website, right? Um, I'll go and play some Elite now. We'll head up to Upsilon, maybe see you there. Yeah, man! Definitely. Um, my main account is Neuro. N-U-R-O-W. Commander Neuro. If you guys want to um, friend me, I will... Um, definitely uh, say what's up and we can run stuff together I, I usually like to run stuff with, with friends uh, one day we can all go hunt down some materials and stuff like that so what's up Comet you still um, Comet is committed to only playing uh, what's that Warframe yeah that's where Comet's been these days Comet is a Warframe uh, addict. <laughs> oh, nice. Come on! What's up, man? What are you up to today? Oh, we're gonna have to do some fuel scooping. What am I? What am I okay, so the. This here says four. So planet number four, right? One, two, three, four. Look at that. That looks like a type of planet you want to scan. But first, before we do that, oh, don't get too far away from the star. My bad. First, you want this is an unknown system to us, okay? It's unexplored. So by selecting the star, your ship will begin to scan it. But what I want. What the? What? What? What I want to find is. We we'll probably have to get closer. I just want to find the beacon. And we might as well get. Man, my, my ship is dirty. Let's fuel up a little bit here. Oh, wait, we have fuel. Um. Oh, there's no... That's interesting. Okay, so there's none. So let's just go ahead and, and go back. We want to scan this planet out. I would even say this one, too. So Jackie Silver. So when you, if you're the first to uh, scan out a planet, you actually get your name on Discovery. You discovered it. Oh, too close. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I know. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Good thing we have that repair module. Nah. <laughs> Why? Because we're not moving far enough? Quick enough? <sighs> That's always fun. That was that was a great time there. Good time. Damn dude. Escape velocity. Wow. I already cagged this. I hate this. That's the one thing I don't like about this game. Really heat damage? Like that bad? That severe? I got sparks. Look at that sparks. Seriously? Sparks? Smoke? Look at this. Go ahead, burn. I dare you. Everything just popping all over. Circuits are frying. <laughs> I guess that's realistic. I guess. Yeah, 
right, we'll try this again. So, see how, okay, so you just gotta get to a certain distance to the planet, and you scan it. All we're doing is collecting data. This data we'll turn in, and it'll help rank up our stat, our, um, explorer. Wow, mental block. All right, got that. Anything else we want to try to get while we're here? I might want to hit that one. It's not a high value. Um, Road to Riches is also showing you, which is like money-wise, high value. Um, I want exploration. I want to get just that I scan stuff, right? So that we can um, make some of the money off of that money. All right, next system. And that's it. That's all you do. You go there. Now I went to our little app. Okay, I mean app. I know web page here. I marked it. That we visited it. I click on here. So now I can cop. I got that copied. Okay. Open up our navigation system, and we just go to the next system. That simple, guys. This is that. That's it. This is it. That's it, that's it. Do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to scan this one because we're so close. So easy just to scan them when we're this close. It doesn't take that long. You can uh, mod everything on your ship. So you could. Act, um, can you mod this? I don't think. Yeah, you can. You can shorten the time it takes to scan it. Good times, good times. This is it. This is this is kind of like the thing. This is all you gotta do now. Um, when you want to to uh, open up your look at that. When you want to open up a, an engineer. Now, as you progress, right? Once we unlock our first engineer um, and unlock another engineer, and as you're playing the game, you're gonna you're gonna unlock more and more of them. There's tons of engineers. Oh my god, there's way too many. Way too many engineers. They all. A lot of them do the same stuff. Um, okay, wait. We need to slow down enough. Are we so that I can target the star? Ooh, that's so bright. Target the star and scan that thing. Okay. Well, that's working. Oh, look. There's a nav beacon. Even better. Let's do the nav beacon. The nav beacon will get us um, the entire system. All the planets, everything had already be in, uh, discovered off of this. Then we still have to go and scan the, pl the specific planet here that'll give us. Wow, it's far. It's 37,000 light. It's D1. Wow, there's four stars. Oh, gosh. That's so painful. Come on. Seriously, what a pain that is. The heating up of this thing heats up a lot. I think that's probably why the Diamondback would be so much better. I think the Diamondback Explorer um, has a hard time heating up. Ah, oh, past it. Ah, oh, you turn to shame. What was that episode, uh, tool I'm using? Here, i give you the, the website, sir. It's really, um, really good little tool there for exploration. The type of expl it, it's more it's exploration, but it's more, it's telling you what planet, what systems have okay so you saw what i did i put no worries um i put the start location so you tell it where you're starting from tell it the range that you want to um you want to you know how far you want to go and how many systems you want to hit and then it'll just basically go through the database and say oh okay we'll route you in this path because there are more high value planets for you to scan <laughs> excuse me and then it gives you the value planets and, and all that good stuff. So, I'm busy. Where's the. Is 
it that way. There it is. Navigation begin. Yeah, it, when you when you warp in, you gotta look around. Okay, well, you gotta look around for the navigation beacons. Never the yellow. All right, so now we got system information. Now you see everything has names on it. Every uh, all the planets, everything, stations, everything's got a name on it now. So let's boost out. Oh, not that direction. <laughs> Let's go to the system map. Now we're... Oh, I forgot that happens. So, how do we read this? Uh, con conversion. Conversion is... Conversion. I don't get what that means. Conversion. Oh, okay, this one. So it has a name. The actual name of this. Okay. So that's high value. For whatever reason in this system, that one happens to have um, be a high value planet. Um, so we'll scan that. This is basically what I'm doing now is just collecting data uh, to unlock my um, to un I'm, I'm just collecting data so that we can rank up. So Right now, we exploration, we're aimless, 3%. Okay. Check out where we're at with this lady. Oh, 120 light years. We need 300 to unlock her. And then this chick, uh, this lady wants us to hit the rank of scout. Which, once we turn in, we'll do this for a little bit. And then we'll go and turn this in, and you'll see how uh, what a good payday that is. Um, there is also a straight line tool if you're traveling somewhere. It works pretty well. Yeah, the uh, DBX is an amazing ship. I just discovered it a couple weeks back. It's an amazing ship. Yes, you're 100% correct. It um, is the straight line tool in the same link above. I The straight line tool, I used it once. I know what you're talking about. remember let me check my links <sighs> excuse me my toolbar um where what was it exploration oops I'm gonna pass this. Uh, I'm gonna pass it darn it just realized it Um, here, if you're into exploration, if you want exploration, check out this link here. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I haven't used this in a minute. That other one gives you details like how things pay out. Oh, there it is. Okay, new the straight line tool. I haven't used that yet. Oh, rose to riches from going. Oh, that's cool. Maximum uh, deviation. Include uh, populace. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's neat. I didn't know that. So, yeah, I was just checking out that link on there. I didn't, I didn't even know that was there. I haven't used this tool in a bit. I'm not much of a, uh, not much of an explorer. Um, you can put in the straight systems in the places uh, you want to end, and it gives you uh, like planets to go. To. Oh, awesome! Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, that's kind of like what I'm doing now. I figure we'll we'll pop this in. I know we'll end up getting the 300 eventually. Wait, we scanned this already. I want to hit the station real quick. I think, um... No, 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 no. I was going to try to get a fuel tank. I was like, oh, no, pop in a fuel tank. Um, so we can have a better... This, nah, but we're good. So we visited this. Let's go ahead and go here now. And, yeah, the rest is just exploration, guys. Hmm. Not much, uh, not much science to it now. 
We're just hopping, hopping along. Three jumps, wow. Yeah, me, I'm not big on, on the whole exploration thing. I find it boring. Like, this right here, to me, is a little boring. I'd rather be doing right now working on my Corvette. I really need to get my Corvette already. All right, we're looking for D1, A, B, C, D1. There's four, there should be four stars in the system we're going to. All right, so hold on. We know this one? Yeah, okay. So this is an unknown, unexplored. Oh, wait a second, this is unexplored, so that's different. Let's get that nav beacon. Yeah, let's get the nav beacon, because we'll get credit. Um, I think we get credit. Oh my god, no, you're not doing it wrong. Mining is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Mining in this game is something they kind of like, I feel like they just threw together. Because mining and we're in space it makes sense but I don't feel like they did a good job with mining um, it's so random it, it shouldn't be that random you would think uh, you know we're, we're in spaceships I'm pretty sure other than dropping um, a prospector a drone uh, the, you're okay so the uh, <sighs> I get a little like into it because I, I like mining on EVE Online. I used to play EVE Online a lot. I was an EVE Onliner. And I liked the mining in that game. It was actually, I used to love it. I found it like so much fun and relaxing to mine in EVE Online. But in this game, mining is like, they, I don't know. They like, it feels like they weren't, they never, they didn't think it through or, or they were like, whatever. Um, it's what I th it feels like because um, let's see if we'll be able to jump without burning up here. Oh, we're heating up. Come on, girl, jump. Ugh, we're gonna burn a little bit. Yeah, that's why I like having heat sinks. So mining on Eva Line was good because you would go warp into a system. You'd scan out the system, and then you would see, oh, okay, so there's Vasper, there's Jaspin, there's this, there's that. There's a lot of, oh, what's up, Matt? Um, there's a lot of different materials, right? From the rock, and you knew what the rock was, you can use the one, you could, you know, pretty much get what you wanted. Um, this game is not like that when it comes to mining. It's so random, you basically have to just go out there and, and mine and... and use prospectors to see what's in the rock and then every rock is random every time you touch a rock it's a random uh, uh, materials instead of having specific rocks maybe rings specific planets that have specific type of material uh, mining is just a pain in the butt getting the good stuff is so hard um, yeah I think it was an afterthought that they, they were like oh we're gonna release the game it's like oh wait we forgot mining Oh, snap! <laughs> yeah. Speaking of old snap, what up, Matt? What you up to today, buddy? What are you doing? With your time. Hey, Matt. You there? Matty! That's the friend that um I was trying to get to play with me. Alright. We keep... I was telling you guys. Yeah, Matt. They got friends that... There's two... Um, Demon, right? Demon, you got a buddy that just bought the game? Man, that's a friend. That's a real friend there. Um, it's, uh... Oh, wait. Let's, let me get the beacon. Here we go. Scanning it. What was that uh, Dead Scale said? It's uh, way more work than it should be. Like, we're in spaceships. Where's my tractor beam, right? <laughs> well, your limpets. Your limpets will go and get your, your material. You don't have to... Yeah, you can use your limpets. Um, I was using my CRV to mine on the planet Metal Alloids. 
or something. My God, yeah, it's tough, dude. I enjoy exploration. Yeah, if I had to choose over mining, exploration would definitely be a lot, a lot, um, a lot higher, a lot higher in the list. I actually prefer trading. Um, I'm an I'm an ex truck driver, so I kind of like the whole pick up from this station, take it to that station, drop off, pick up some more, go to another station. Um, I like I like that part to it. It's more of a truck driver side for me specifically. Yeah, the jumps are getting smaller. That's good. Ooh, dual sun. Look at the dual sun. It's really hot there. All right, so D. So we got A, B, C, D. What? A, B, C, D? One, D, one? Ask what? I'm confused. Okay. That tells me we need this guy right here. That's what it is. We need the beacon. Let's go get that beacon real quick. I'm like, we're missing something. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't honked the horn. That's how oh, gosh. I just screwed up. That's how long it's been since I've been doing... Ah, I just screwed up so bad. Those other systems, I didn't honk the horn. I call That's what I heard people call calling it. You want to use your D-scan, directional scanner. Crap. Man. That sucks. Lost, um, we lost some stuff there. How did I, how did I, how did I, how did I forget to, to, to do that? That's, that drives me nuts. That's, that's naughty. That's bad. Mucho malo. Mucho malo. Alright. We playing Destiny tonight? I haven't done anything on Destiny in a couple days. Matt, you there? Matt! Poke, poke, poke. Alright. Cool, navigation beacon scanning. 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 That sucks so bad, guys. I just realized. You can tell I haven't been uh, doing this in a while. You you want to get into a habit of honking your horn when you walk into a system. Look at that. Uh, D1. Why isn't this one on there? D3 should be on there, too. Ooh, that's far. High metal content world, water world. Oh, they got two nice little water worlds here. Man, sucks. That's how you get your. So when you fly into a system, you want to squeeze your horn, honk it, what? And then it'll scan out all the bodies in the system. That's why we went and bought at one point five million scanners so that we don't have to approach. You know, it, it was a thousand light years, um, I think. <gasps> wow, excuse me. This one's far. Hmm. <laughs> That's great. Tractor beam. That would have been nice. They should have tractor beams. You know what I want uh, that skill is I wish they would freaking stop making these ships with giant fish bowls on them. Especially combat ships. Shouldn't have a giant fish bowl. Should be in a nice sealed environment. Like if I was a spaceman I'd be like listen um, I want to cover all these windows with like I don't know armor plating and I would like for shields <laughs> to be for my shields to really work very very good in that area then I would have like sensors and, and cameras all over it it's a stupid spaceship 
how hard could it possibly be? You know? Cameras in the, in the future like this probably run off of fiber lines and stuff like that, you know, they capture light via fiber and, and all that. So anyways, yeah, I didn't like that part. Our cockpit should be like completely closed off. Yeah, in the vacuum. <laughs> or how about when you enter a planet? You don't need that much downforce. Oh, man. And it's so big. It's so ugly. I hate the ship. I hate the Type 10 because of it. I'll be honest. That, that tip. What the hell were they thinking? It's like, yeah, put a spoiler on it. Wait, what? Yeah, put a spoiler on them. Spaceships look cool with spoilers. But what? Have you seen the spoiler for the Type 6? Oh my god. The whale tail for real. <sighs> Woo. Man, I should have. I didn't go to bed last night. I I, I went to bed late yesterday. I, I work nights, if you guys don't know. So I went to bed yesterday, like, I don't know, it was like 2 in the afternoon. I woke up at like 9 o'clock at night. Um, I had a nightmare and I woke up. It was so weird. I had a nightmare and my daughter had a nightmare at the same time. I woke up and then just like maybe like, not the same time. It was like about five, ten minutes apart. But it was so weird that I woke up from a nightmare and then my kid's over there like she's, Mommy, Mommy. And I ran over there and she was like, uh, you know, she was like, had a nightmare. It was a weird moment. It made me feel weird in my own home. But anyways, um... And then I just stayed up the whole freaking night. I couldn't get back to sleep. But I did get to watch. I watched Ted Part 2 again. Man, that movie. What? That movie's so funny. Ted Part 2. Part 1, 2. Uh, 1 and 2 were hilarious. But I just saw Part 2 again last night. And then I, I was on this, like, um, disaster movie a fun. I've watched um, The Day After Tomorrow. That, that movie's fun. I actually like that movie a lot. And what was the one I watched before that? Oh my god, this happened to me earlier. What was the name of that movie? Oh no, I, okay, so that, that I remember. I watched The Day Before Tomorrow first, and then I watched um, San Francisco? San Francisco? Yeah, the one with The Rock, where earthquakes destroy San Francisco. Yeah, that one. So they was like whatever. It's like every other disaster movie ever written, ever, ever and ever and ever. Matt, you're ignoring me. I was gonna see if you want to go see Star Wars tomorrow. I know he hasn't seen it yet. I, I, I wouldn't mind watching it again. I love watching the movies more than once. I'll get a uh, feel for. Did I scan this thing out already? No. Um, I, I like watching movies a couple times. Um, Easter eggs and all that. Excuse me, guys. I don't mean to yawn so much. I'm just getting tired. I, I can't believe I, I jumped so many, a couple systems. Like, what, like five systems? And I never honked a horn in any of them. Ugh. I literally forgot how, I forgot how to do this. That's why it's so important to get that infinite horn honk on here. Anyways, doesn't that sound great? I love the way that sounds. Alrighty then. Man, this is a long flight. Are there any stations here? Wang City. I'll tell you what, if you ever see missions to Wang City in in 
this Gamma Dorados system, uh, that might pay out. Oh crap, that's what happens when you take. That's why you should never text and fly at the same time. You turn a shame. Alright, so it's scanning that. Well, let's see. If it's too far, I'm not going to worry with it. It just looks like a planet you want to scan. Mm. Well, that's one I just scanned. Alright, we out of here. Screw it. Screw it. We don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, next system. Yeah, I don't know how people can stream this. This is kind of like... That's <laughs> funny. Every time I look over at that scale, I see your comment. It's like, really? A spoiler on a Type 10? It's like, really? Because you need all that downfall horse in the vacuum. <laughs> right, let's get that. Two things we're going to do here. I'm honking the horn. And... Getting that star info. Alright, so we're looking for Kern uh, Kariki Kariki. Um oh, there's no navigation. Yeah, there it is. I was like, there's no nav beacon. Oh man. It's on the other side. <laughs> wow. If I told you guys I drifted off into La La Land for about a couple minutes there, would you believe me? Man, I hate when I do that. Don't you hate it when you go a little too fast, but then you try to like cut down on the speed, but it's too late? The ship's been speeding up, so now you just gotta eat it. Yeah, then you do one of those little, like, down and up, like I just did there. Um, that helps you kind of, like, slow down. Ooh, that was close. That was a, a sp somebody's starship. Somebody's starship went right by us. Oh, man. Alright. Where's that beacon? There it is. There, well, that's working the beacon. No, you actually have to wait for the scan to complete before you can unlock lock something. Okay, done. So it says here, oh man, that's it right there. That's what we want right here. We'll scan this planet out. Calm that crap down. 
warning. We just like to say warning. Whoop. All right, where are we at? So yeah, this is uh, this is it, guys. This is what you do here. This is what you would call. Um, <laughs> this is some grinding out exploration for you. So it would come in parts, right? You'd, you'd be like, okay, I, um, all right. So here, let's do this while we do this, so I can keep awake. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we're scanning this out real quick. Come on, baby. Scan it. Did I honk the horn here? You know what? I'm going to do it again. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to do it again. I don't want to go through that. All right, so we scanned what we can scan here. Um... But, you know what, I need to take a dock right here, this dock here, um, we're going to go ahead and dock it up for today guys, I have to get some rest, we 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 sweep, sweep, sweepy here, oh, 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 Woo! yeah, I just, Past everything. Take like one second, you're gonna overshoot it. Ay, ay, ay. So, anyways, if you haven't seen that movie Ted, I, I recommend it. It's vulgar as hell. So, make sure your kids aren't in the room, or your parents, or whatever it is that you don't. Whoever it is you're pretending to be a very polite, well spoken person, you don't wanna see that movie in front of them. That's <laughs> so funny. And I even said it to myself last night while I was watching those movies. I'm like, man, try to get to sleep. And I couldn't fall asleep. I just, I don't know. My brain wasn't into it. Um, but I was like, man, go to sleep. Because then tomorrow you're going to be sleepy during the day. And that sucks. It does suck. It's so hard working nights and then trying to switch towards days on my days off to be with the fam and then switch back to nights to go back to work. It's painful. I don't, I don't know. It's hard. Right. We might throw some stuff. Oh man, this is like well lit. It looks nice. The station is really nice looking. Let's get a image. Guten Maya. Yeah, let's try to get ourselves a nice photo. Look how small our spaceship is when you, when you put it into perspective. There, that's, that looks like a cool big. There. The, oh, wait. Try it again. Alright, that looks cool. Let's dock. We're in dock bay 8. Yeah, I won't do it. <sighs> Man, what a mission to, to unlock this, though, to be honest. It's not easy. That's why I'm, I'm like, 
I'm for make as much money as quick as you can and enjoy the stuff you like in the game. Because look how, how long... I've been at this for now. This is the second day. Um, this is our second day at this. And I am... I'm, I'm beat. I need to go get some sleep. Because <laughs> I'm falling asleep behind the wheel. And you don't want to fly in text or fly in sleep. It's, actually, there's a bunch of studies that show that uh, driving unrested is worse uh, than truck driving. Drug driving, not truck driving. <laughs> truck driving. Alright, just for giggles, what do we got? Eh, it's not too bad. We would have been up over a million if we would have been able to cash in these. It's just that we're not 20, you have to be 20 like, years away to be able to cash it in. So Now, I'll suggest if you're trying to get reputation at a certain station, like upsell on a quarry for money, save your uh, data stuff. That'll, I just want to get rid of it. But that'll help you if you save it. Alright. Wait, did we do it? Hey, look, we're scout. Yay! So we did it! Oh, did we? Wait a second. Oh, man, that'd be great. Because I'm beat. But if we... Un Look, we unlocked someone. That's awesome. <laughs> Hold on. Why didn't we unlock this lady? I really thought we were going to... Look, we haven't traveled the distance. I really thought... Okay, you fulfilled your contract uh, by providing the units of... Oh, okay. I knew there was something else for her. These aren't hard. These are not hard. Um... I remember where that's at. I remember where that's at. It's metal alloy. It's, they're sold in one location in the entire galaxy, I think it is. Um, so, let's find it real quick. Um, database. Okay, I couldn't remember what I was looking for. Metal alloy. It's a rare commodity. Let's see. Uh, Fine. Meta alloy. Here we go. This website is so awesome. Okay, so there's a couple stations. Current station. Where are we? Okay, so we are in uh, whatever that system is. Current system. What is this? N I N H U. Are these even real words? Right. Closest station to buy meta. Maximum selling station. Minimum buying? I don't understand. Minimum buying. Wait, what? I want, um, I want to buy. Yes. Closest station to buy meta. Wow, that's far. It's 400 light years away. Minimum buying. What's this mean? Alright, we're not going to Maya. For sure, we're not going to go all the way out there. What's. Maximum selling stations for. What's that mean? Maximum selling stations? I don't get it. Demand. These are people willing to buy. Supply is who's selling. That's what we need to look at. Wow. We have to go to Maya? This does not seem correct. Well, might be correct. 
Okay. Well, my brain is not giving me the capacity to, to think that through. Wow. Oh, but that's not a bad thing. Okay, guys? We, we actually... Not bad. Look, we unlock... The goal... My goal was to unlock an engineer and show you the process. You guys saw the struggle uh, I had to go through. But now, it's not that hard. You come here. Okay? You go to 4. Beep. 4. Uh, you go to your, this panel here. You go to View Engineers. And then you see which engineer you're looking for, right? So if I want... Oh, I want to upgrade my multi-cannons. Well, if I want to upgrade multi-cannons to get his second offer, you do the first one, I'm doing the second one, he'll give you a third one. But anyways, to unlock this cat, I need to turn in 15 bounty vouchers. Okay? So, combat. See, I already got one bounty claimed. Okay, cool. Um... Um, 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 I could swear. No, sorry. I thought, I thought you could see all of them. Um, yeah, no. I thought you can see them all. There's, there's websites on the internet that'll give you who does what, uh, for this. But, hey guys, appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, I hope this video has been useful. Uh, somewhat, hopefully, useful for you. Um, we we wanted to s unlock. Our goal was to unlock a engineer, and we did indirectly by scouting out a l just a little bit. You saw how we didn't really have to scout too much. Um, we used the road to riches. If you like exploration, you can make money using that. Um, but that's it. That's all you gotta do. You gotta uh, figure out, okay, here are the starting engineers. What do I want? The most important thing, I think, in the game to engineer right away in the beginning is your FSD drive. You want the maximum distance, okay? So, I would shoot for one of those two and then work at it like we did until we unlock them. And now, she said to do, you know, look up, bring her some meta alloids. Um, I or, you know, you look up the meta alloys and you run with it from there. Alright guys, I hope you uh, like the stream. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me that thumbs down, but do me a solid favor. Tell me why. Tell me what was it that you didn't like so I can improve. Okay? If you guys have any suggestions, anything you want to see, anything you'd uh, uh, like me to help you with, um, to show you how it's done, or, or, or if you just want to hang out and play, um, let me know. Drop some comments in there. Uh, I get emails. I, I uh, whenever you guys comment, and I will be. Uh, I'll look at it. I'll follow up with you. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging up. Hanging up. <laughs> thanks for hanging out. This is one sleepy commander going night night. Thanks for thanks, and I'll see you next time.